My brothers and sisters, the whole world will let you down. Absolutely everyone will let you down, but Allah will not let you down. Allah says, my worshiper, I will forgive you by you just asking me for forgiveness, even if your sins were as much as would fill from the earth to the skies. You want to hear the words? Yabna Adama. لو بلغت ذنوبك عنان السماء ثم استغفرتني غفرت لك ولا أبالي لقيتني لا تشرك بي شيئا The hadith says, O son of Adam, if your sins had filled from the earth to the skies full of writing, meaning if they had filled that whole space, that's how many sins you came with on the day of judgment. But you came without associating partners with me. You worshipped me, you tried. I can forgive your sins without even being bothered. It won't really affect anything at all on my side. So Allah is telling us, O son of Adam, no matter what you've done, have hope in my mercy. O son of Adam, your acts of worship benefit you, they don't benefit me. So trust that I will accept them from you. Did you try? Yes, I tried. Accept it. Don't let the devil come to you and make you lose your faith in Allah. You have faith in Allah. What is the faith in Allah? He is Ghafoor, Rahim, Wadood. He is the loving, the most merciful, the most forgiving, the most compassionate. That is who Allah is. Have you ever thought about it when we say Bismillahi? The first words as we're reading the Quran, what do we say? Bismillahi. Ar-Rahmani, Ar-Rahimi. In the name of Allah, what did he choose as the ultimate of the first two names for us to be repeating? What did he choose? Number one, Ar-Rahman. What's that? The most merciful, the entirely merciful. He is merciful even upon those who don't deserve his mercy. Subhanallah. That's what the meaning of Ar-Rahman. And then he says, Ar-Rahim, he has a specialized mercy for those who believe. They will feel that mercy because of that belief and conviction. When you're convinced with Allah, when you rely on Allah, when you know that the good that came to me is definitely a blessing from Allah and the test, and the bad that came to me is also a blessing from Allah and the test, then you have true belief. Then you're a believer. But if you think the bad is always a punishment, it's not, it's not. You know, we have tsunamis, we have natural disasters, we have death, we have so many other things, disease, sickness. A lot of these things are actually a blessing from Allah. Yes, it can be a punishment. It's all got to do with your own condition. Someone said, oh, look at Allah punishing the people of Indonesia because of what they've been doing. And I got up and I said, it's my duty to tell you that that is not necessarily a punishment. What about those who died while they were in sujood? What about those who died while they were trying to read Quran? What about those who were decent people who died and they were martyred or perhaps killed in that natural disaster? Can you ever say that it was the punishment of Allah? No, it was not. It was the mercy of Allah upon them. They died in a good condition. How many of us would like to die in sujood? I would like to die in sujood. Yes. So if Allah took you away in sujood, no matter how he took you away, but isn't it a blessing of Allah? You'll be resurrected perhaps in a similar way. And people say, that guy was punished, you see, because he died natural disaster. You don't know. It was the mercy of Allah. But if someone was in the disobedience of Allah at the time, that's between them and Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not do that to us. So it could be the same disaster could be a punishment for some and a mercy for others, depending on how you are. And those who have survived, it depends on the condition of your heart. Those who have survived, it depends on the condition of your heart. Subhanallah. If you're a happy person, if you're, ex if you're always happy and you make the most of what's left with you, then you're definitely a believer. You believe in Allah. It's definitely a means of closeness to Allah. How many of us, when we've had disease and sickness, have we become better Muslims? So isn't that a sign of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? It softened us. It made us fulfill salah. And how many of us, once we get cured, we're back with our old ways and habits. Allahu Akbar. May that not happen to us. 